whole bunch of X. Whole brand new Nikes. Hello, what's your name? Dave. Dave Jones. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I'm looking for a job. We got a printer. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Hey honey, you're still dumpster diving, huh? Oh yeah. Uh, we've got some brake rotors in here. Oh, they're little filthy old things. You want to put that in my car? I don't think so. That's not going in my car. It's like two dollars. You can come back later with your truck and get it. So this is where I donate everything that I find. Price is right, free. Beautiful today in Buffalo, 72 degrees. We're gonna go do some diving for about three hours. I'm gonna wear my gloves the entire time. Wearing the gloves. Yeah, that's kind of full, isn't it, huh? Yeah, we got a big old uh, workout machine here. So this is GameStop, look what we got here. I got no idea what this is, but is that Hello Kitty? I'm, I don't know. Oh, that's GameStop, all right. Looks like somebody dumped a bunch of household, household trash in here. Dude, we got some Nikes. Look at those. What brand new Nikes. We'll put this through the washer at home and I'll put it up on lostgoods.com for 30 bucks shipping included if somebody wants this for the kids' room. Nothing. I see deodorant in there. Whoa. A whole bunch of axe. I think it just probably got like a case pack broke and the soap got everywhere. All right. You know, all this dumpster diving, you gotta stay clean. Enough body wash for the next five, 10 years here. I don't know what this Ubu stuff is. Body spray for men. Oh, oh, why would anybody wanna smell like that? All right, score. Now we got Dollar Tree here. Hey, the broken glass can't get me this time. Oh, I didn't know Dollar Tree was uh, throwing out weed here. Oh, it looks like a weed wrapper. No, it's a, actually a toy. Mine's in the gutter here. All right, all these dumpster. Oh, got some, whoa, big old door hinge things. Hell yeah. And then we got a uh, bunch of various veggies. You see, it's a bit moldy, so they throw it out. Understandable. Usually greens are just wilted, so I'll give those to our chickens. Then you got crap like this, like uh, baked goods that you know humans and chickens shouldn't eat. Chickens actually aren't supposed to eat iceberg. It'll give them diarrhea. Peppers are... These peppers look okay. Okay for chickens. And then they poop everywhere and we get volunteer pepper plants. So, hey, and we get some bagels. One dollar, one dollar off, because they were trying to, they didn't sell them in time, so now they're in here. We'll take them. Uh, always with the eggs. One gets broken, so they throw the whole thing out. All right, cool, cool. This is Office Depot. I see a cord down there, so I'm definitely hopping in this one. Let's see what it is here. 
Hey! This looks exactly like the cord I need to test out that standing desk from uh, last video. So, we got a printer. Obviously, it's pretty effed up. Uh, but some scrapyards will take this. And as long as you're turning in like several hundred pounds of like stuff that's like, this is straight metal, they'll accept a couple of things that are more like 40, 50% metal. Um, as long as it's not a truck bed full of printers, they'll, you know, allow you to throw one or two in the shred pile, at least in my yard. Hey, another cord. It's wild that people actually have to buy these. Oh, they cut it because they're fools. Okay, we got ink. HP ink. That's a eBayable item every day. Dude, another HP. That's why in certain dumpsters, that's worth it to just dig around. Another one. And if there's this kind of stuff in these open dumpsters, just imagine what's in those compactors. Let's do the math here real quick. eBay, HP, 744. We're gonna filter by sold listings. That's how you really see a true sales price. Okay, this multicolor one, 44 bucks. So that's uh, 100 bucks worth of ink right there. Hell yeah. And uh, a couple dollars at the scrapyard for this printer. And we got five below. What is all this crap? There's always tons of power cords in here. What are these things? Oh, these are like, you put your phone in here and then you got virtual reality. Now, fortunately, at Five Below, most of the stuff in the store is already trash. So like the returns can be just as, just as crappy, but sometimes you find a gem. You got a phone case. This is like the stuff I put in the free pile. Somebody's probably got an iPhone 12 that'll fit that. Well, pull a bunch of uh, cut up cat and dog food again. So what I've been told by a bunch of commenters who actually work at these pet stores is they'll get fired if they don't cut the bags open. So uh, don't blame the employees for doing it. Blame these corporations like PetSmart, Pet Supplies Plus. I'm sure there's a few stores across the country that have very good hired managers who make an effort to get it to local animal shelters. But the vast majority, at least in my area, they all cut them up when they go in the dumpster. And you know what, if it's a recall or if it's spoiled, completely understand. But when it's expired in the, in the store on Saturday and then Sunday it goes in the dumpster because it's expired and it's past the Best Buy date and they gotta cut it all up and they could have given it to an animal shelter, it's just uh, corporate greed and neglect, uh, honestly. Okay, end of rant. That's the results of the capitalist system that we live in, for better or worse. Don't even get me started about all the plastic that's gonna fly all over the place when this gets dumped. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I just do a bit of a drive-by check. Nah, it doesn't look like there's anything good in there. Haven't found anything good in there in the past, so I'll just pass that one on. All right, we got a Michaels here. Oh. Didn't know Michaels was selling toasters. Uh, these are all cracked up. Got to be careful in the Michaels dumpster. Lots of uh lots of glass re ready to get you. 
baby. Look. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Weird. You know, I, I do have standards. You know, I'm not gonna eat that. Oh. That's not glass, that's plexiglass. Ooh. Okay, I'll take some free plexiglass. Is there more down there? I think there's another sheet. Nah, just a piece. What's the difference between acrylic, polycarbonate, and plexiglass? Somebody teach me in the comments. Da, da, da. What do we got? Nothing. Eh, there's not too much in here today. Eh, looks like they're doing all the carpet stuff. Still not much. Whoa, look at that display unit down there. Could be tough to really, to finagle that way out if I don't open up the door. Yeah, what I can do is I can walk it up on all this other crap and then probably get it over the side into the truck. And we got all these too. And those are taken those are taken for sure. Hey, got a big old piece of sprinkler pipe right off the start. Oh yeah, it's a bunch in here. Look at all that down there. It's coming with me. Ah. It's really chewing up this tailgate. So note about this sprinkler pipe, this should be considered cast iron. And you see it's very thick. So if it was under four feet, you'd get heavy melt for that. And that's uh, about 11 and a half, 12 cents a pound. But because it's over four feet, it has to go in the shred pile at my yard. Uh, I could make more money if I cut it in half, 
but just personally, it's not worth my time. You know, it's not as fun. So I'd rather go find more stuff than sit there and process stuff. That's why you know, people ask, like, why don't you break apart, apart your AC units or strip your wire? I just, uh, it's, it's tedious for me. I know I'd make more money, but I'd rather go find more stuff and that's more fun for me. So just my two cents. Oh man, big old shelf in there. Yeah, I'm out of room for big stuff like that, unfortunately. Maybe next time when I have a trailer. Oh, it's actually aluminum. That's okay, we'll take it. It's worth uh, like 13 cents a pound about. You can also just throw in the shred pile, that's acceptable as well. Ah, oh, the little, little snippings box. Yeah, there's a chunk of copper wire. Hey, another big chunk of copper. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. It all adds up. I'll shove a lot of my wire up in the corner here, so it's just easier to keep track of. Zilch. Ah, oh, what's in this one? Bunch of nothing. Yeah, I probably should have done that sooner, but now she's a bit more secure. That was way too much setup for an empty dumpster. Oh well. Ah. Huh. Ugh. It smells like cigarettes. A little bit of scrap. Hey, nothing, nothing. Bath fitter. There's a little bathtub there. Hey, what's in here? It's the plastic shitty lawnmower. Alright. So there's there's an engine and motors and stuff. There's just barely enough metal to scrap this thing and we're getting a little bit full up here. We'll, uh, we'll clip this wire off. Check this out. Probably propylene twine. Completely full. Uh, we got routers. Power cords. Ah, huh. a Weller model, 7200, looks like a soldering gun. Snow shovel, second snow shovel. 
third snow shovel. Hey, and we got some potato chips. That's what's usually in this dumpster. Ah, no. So I could probably justify taking this uh, vacuum. Especially if this whole thing comes out. Yeah, okay, yep. Because that's metal, and then this is the motor down here, so. Yeah, that's enough metal to be scrappable. I'll take these uh, snow shovels. You know, it's the end of, the it's not winter anymore here in Buffalo, but uh, somebody will grab these for next season. You know, those are 20 bucks a piece at the hardware store. So somebody finding that on the sidewalk for free, they're gonna be happy. I made it through with like almost gloves the whole time. That's like, you know, that's really good for me, so. And with this dumpster diving stuff, it's, you know, I can, I can find stuff I can sell, I can find stuff I can scrap, and then if I can find some stuff that I could just donate and give away, and that as long as it's reused, that, you know, makes me feel good at night, so. And we got a little rat's nest of wire here. Sometimes it's worth it to look up these Wi-Fi boxes and you can sell those on eBay for 20, 30, 40 bucks. Why do I have this mannequin leg in my truck? Good question. Uh, I used it as the Halloween decoration and uh, we're gonna do a one for one exchange. I helped empty their dumpster a little bit so I'm gonna put a little bit back in. Maybe some worker will get a kick out of that tomorrow when they check this dumpster. All right, we got one more stop and then we're calling it. It's the end of the day here, I'm starting to get lazy. I know there's good stuff under here, I just gotta... I was wrong. So we're on the way to the scrapyard. What the heck is this thing? What, what, what is it? Yeah, I'll grab it. I'll probably just throw it in the shred pile. It feels heavy enough, yeah. That's what happens. People see you grabbing scrap and they say, I got more in my backyard. I got some other shit too. Poles, they can go. Okay. Yeah, I should be able to fit those. You know what? Take the poles and then I'll scope some other shit out that you can grab. Sure. Get the fuck out of this backyard. Spring cleaning. <sighs> okay, you want to help? Yeah, I got it. Can I fit it? This is the question. And now uh, there's more shit back there. Okay. Nice bikes. Thanks. Two belts. Okay. And got it. These guys can go. Whatever helps you guys out. Yeah. No, I appreciate hey, it. And you know, you know, I usually do. Um, I, I I scrap a lot. What's your name? Dave. Dave Joe. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. I do a lot of scrapping too. I mean, not all the time though. Yeah, I mean, with the with the steel, you got to have a, a good I chunk of it. Got, got, got quantity. Yeah. And what, hey, what's the steel like now? Uh, it's 155 a ton, so that's like uh, seven cents a pound. Seven cents. Is that a good or bad? It's low. Is it low? Low. It was like maybe a year, year and a half ago. It was up to like 225 a ton. Uh -huh. So you know, it fluctuates 30, 40 percent gotcha. over, you know, gotcha. year over year. And how much shit gets delivered? Or, or? It's mainly like the economy. If everything's humming, making a lot of stuff. I'll grab these things. Yeah, I'll bring out a load for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, that's fine, you know I'll take I mean? it. Yeah, I just stockpile it until I got enough. Oh, uh, that's like 40 cents a pound. And it's not too bad then. Not too, not too bad. Again, you just gotta have a bunch of it, you know? I appreciate it though, thank no, you. No problem. Hello. Hey man. I'm looking for work. What's that? I'm looking for a job. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I got anything for you. Good luck though. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 
Can't Thanks a lot. Part. Not a problem. Appreciate it. Hey, enjoy, and uh, hopefully make the trip tomorrow. I hope I do too. You helped me get make a few more bucks. So we made 40 bucks on that scrap run. We had 580 pounds of shred steel at 155 a ton. Works out to around seven cents a pound. Uh, probably the best resale thing we found was this HP ink, which uh, should be able to sell on eBay about a hundred bucks. I uh, found this full thing of uh, twine, which should come in handy in some future projects. And we got probably uh, three, four dollars worth of wire scrap. I'll keep stockpiling those shovels to give away and uh, got a good workout in. So another successful dumpster diving run. If you want to watch another one, I definitely suggest this one.